Oh. Hey there. What's going on? Welcome to the channel, Grimey and Mav. It's a pleasure having you here. Um, as you probably saw in the title, it's September, man. It's hard to catch fish most of the time, but here we are. Me, Grimey, not really we, but just Grimey. I'm going to show you how to catch bass. I've got five main lures I'm going to show you. Let's get into it. Alrighty boys, this is going to be my first lure of choice whenever we're fishing in September. It's going to be that square bill. For me, I'm really going to only fish them in about three to eight foot of depth. Not really going to go much deeper than that. I'm only going to target the hard structure. Um, once I hit that hard structure, it's just going to pause and that's going to get that little reaction, kind of a little something different about your bait from the bait fish and they're really going to target on that one. Whenever it's a little bit dirtier water, I recommend something with a black top and a chartreuse belly. They can really see that all in the water column and they're really able to find that lure. If it's ever in the clear water, you're probably going to have to get a little bit of a lighter line and really match that hatch. Kind of get on what they're feeding on and what they're really doing in the lake. Um, this square bill can be extremely vital both in the fall time and the spring time. So really keep that in mind. Don't just put it away whenever the Whenever the water gets cold, you can still utilize it. Um, but yeah, with this square bill, you're really just gonna wanna match the hash. If it's clear water, get something that they can see in the dirty water and really target that hard structure because I tell you, that's when those bites are coming. Bait number two, this is probably gonna be my favorite bait out of the bunch for September fishing. A lot of guys will have it in there. It's that jerk bait. This one right here is the Vision 110. It's probably what I'm gonna recommend. I also brought some of the do a realis. These are kind of nice. Um, love this bait. It's going to do a lot for us in the springtime and in the fall, and that's what we're here to talk about. Um, whenever you're fishing this, really, it's going to be once those shatter up as well, kind of like that square bill. But you can also kind of catch them off some bluff walls every once in a while in the late fall. But yeah, once those shad push up there, this bait, just rip it around there, make it real nice, subtle. If the bass are really blown up on it. You can rip it through there, but you're going to want that reaction strike. And the longer this thing soaks for me, the better I have. Um, whenever I'm, the better I do whenever I'm catching bass. I go five, even maybe ten seconds between each twitch whenever it's kind of kind of hot and they're really lethargic or if it's super cold the same way when they're not moving very well. Um, this jerkbait though, this is my favorite way to fish them in the fall. Um, the bite's insane and it's really going to help you get the job done in those tournaments and kind of put the two, three pounders in the boat. I don't really stick too many four or five pounders on this. It's a really good way to target those bass that push up a little bit earlier than the big ones, but hey, you gotta fill it back somehow and the jerk bait is a great way to do that whenever you're trying to fish it. Here is my third bait of choice. This is going to have to be the Z-Man chatter bait and I tell you boys, this thing gets the job done whenever they're low in that water column sitting about five to eight foot of water. You can't beat it. This little perch color on Table Rock really gets the job done for me. I'm able to fish this one in both clear and dirty waters. I see it get um, similar results in both, but um, I'm telling you what, these chatterbaits, they're really going to help you out whenever you're, you're struggling to catch fish, whenever those bass are lethargic and they're not really moving as well as you want them to. That little vibration is a little bit something different from the bait fish that they're probably t targeting, and I tell you what, this is going to help you catch a fish. Bait number four, boys, it's going to have to be a top water for me. Not really any specifics on the exact top water. I have a lot of luck with these flukes right here, or the soft plastic jerk baits, a lot of guys call them. The action on these is incredible. I think this is a zoom one in the, I think it's electric shad color. I'm not really for sure on that. But some other top waters that are really great are those whopper ploppers and any type of just slow popper. And whenever the bass are in one to three foot of water, that's whenever I have my um, best time catching them. Um, they're really targeting those shad up there and these soft, soft plastic flukes, I mean, I tell you, they get up in there and they destroy them. Um, some other stuff, some wake baits are also a decent Decent thing to try in September whenever other stuff's not working. Kind of just a little nice slither across the top of the water. But um, other than that, for top water, I'd have to recommend the soft plastic fluke is my number one and probably the whopper plopper is number two. But in September, once they're pushing the shad up, it's definitely the best way to catch fish and probably the most fun. Alrighty, boys, fifth and final bait is my favorite, the orange tube. Now, I'm really gonna be throwing this thing all year round, but um, specifically in September, whenever those bass start moving up, I'm gonna start throwing a little bit shallower than I normally do. Right now, it's the heat of summer, or it was the heat of summer, now it's September, but it's still pretty hot where we are. But in that heat of the summer, I was throwing this probably in about 30, 35 foot of water, sometimes a little bit shallower, maybe 25, but not much more shallow. 
targeting smallmouth for this, but now it's a great time to push up and catch those largies whenever they move in close. There's some about this tube, especially on Table Rock, it's a little bit different, not a lot of guys throw it, and I think um, a lot of people around the country really don't use the tube as much as they should, and this by far is going to catch the most fish for you. Now on um, the sizes, you're going to have to sift through some solvents to really get to those big ones, but I'm telling you, four or five pounders is going to eat it just like the two pounders. Um, another uh, replacement or supplement for this tube in the September times is going to have to be just a nice little finesse jig or a hula grub even. Some a little bit different than hula grub and I really like throwing those whenever I'm kind of up river in about three to five foot of water pitching the banks. But yeah, these tubes and finesse jigs can be killer all, all year round but especially in September whenever things are changing. That was the five baits that I would recommend you throw in September. Um, those are the five best, or five baits that I have the best luck on in September, especially that orange tube. Remember that orange tube, a lot of guys sleep on it. But a, th a few other things I wanted to go over, um, really watch the water temperature in September. It's gonna start to drop really quick in some places. In some places it's gonna stay hot all the way through probably even October, November even. The weather is crazy here in North America, but you gotta keep in mind once that thermocline starts to break up, that's really what's gonna drive those bass or not necessarily the bass, but at least the bait fish up to the surface of the water and they're going to be trying to get all the nutrients from all the new water. It's going to wash that soil in. It's going to be where it's happening, so really watch for that thermocline to break up and that's when you can really catch them up shallower and that's when those small mouth and big large mouth will start to push up off the main lake points and kind of back into those coves and you can really catch them there. Um, September can also be really finicky. Some of these just probably won't work for you and I apologize, but it's definitely something where you can at least start. Um, I know whenever I was starting out fishing, I didn't really have anywhere to start, so I was probably throwing a Cinco all year round, just trying to get bit. Um, I know how that's felt, but definitely keep in mind the tube, the jerk bait, the square, square bill, the chatter bait, and some of the top water. The top water's super fun and be a great way to catch them with your buddies. But hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you watched it all the way to this point, hey, we appreciate it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We got big things coming. Maybe a Canada trip, maybe a new bass boat. Hey, you're just gonna have to stay tuned for, for what's coming. We're, we got big things planned and we're gonna be doing this for a long time. So hop on the train early and get left behind. See you boys.